Did you ever know that you're my hero? Well, hello. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. Travels with Tommy and Lori. Today, our adventure takes us to... Blairsville but again. We're, but we're not staying in the cabin. No, we're not staying in the cabin. We're going to tent camp again. We're going to have a beautiful night sky, this, hopefully. This area is certified as dark sky, which means you can see the Milky Way. And that's what we're come all we're the here. way up. An hour drive. Our friend owns this place. Yeah, we just but, uh, got here. It's a long day. Yeah, it's it was, almost eight o'clock. It's, so. it's, it's been a long week or two. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, we're going to set up our tent mm -hmm. and get things organized. Yeah. And then we will come back at you. Yeah, we're going to cook us some dinner later. And uh, I get the tent set up. I'm going to set it right there to where the sky is wide open. Yep. Um, we can stargaze to our heart content. We have a beautiful little covered pavilion. Right there. So we're pretty excited. Well, let's get to it. Yep, let's do it. Now that you've done it twice, yeah. let's see how fast you can do it. Well, let's see how fast I can do it. You're at 15 seconds now. Oh, I didn't know you were going to sound at That? 41 seconds. Actually, I'm going to count it for 45. Good job. Is that not the easiest thing to set up? That is the easiest thing to set up. Good job. I'm going to pour it right on in here. Don't pull it up too far. Do you want to pour the water? Well, I'm just saying, don't pour Silence. <laughs> I kill you. I kill you. All right, so to be fair, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll call this Cheater Mac and Cheese. Cheater? Yeah, because it starts off with just the box, and we dump the box in there. And there's the packet. So the noodles are boiling, and we'll let that come almost to our dente. And then we'll drain them. And we'll start to add the other stuff that makes it way better than what you're going to get in the box. All right, so I had to fight the moths. I had to keep moving the light. But basically what I did was, we call this cheater mac and cheese. So we, we start out with the box of the craft. Ribeyes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Don't they look delicious? If you don't feed me soon, <laughs> I'm going to bed. Oh, we got you. We got you. Who is we? We, me, and me. <laughs> Good? Mm, mm, mm. No? Mm, mm. Take yours. No, you mm. give my food back. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Cooked over wood with a plastic knife. These things, I'm telling you. I, I just, I'm so excited right now. Well, I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm going to get mine. No. Yeah. No. Before the moths You're, get it. Don't eat it. It's mine. It's very creamy. Spicy. Oh, no. It comes at the end. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say very spicy. Look yeah, at that. video your plate. Look at that. Beautiful steak. Yeah. Looking pretty majestic there, Tommy. I'm going to have to tell you. Even though we forgot our coffee cups. We forgot a lot. Wait, we're we forgot more this time than we did last time. Oh, well, we're kind of in a rush, too. I mean, we only knew it was coming for two weeks. But... This coffee is delicious. Yeah. And I only made enough for two cups. Because last time we ended up throwing a bunch out. <laughs> yeah, usually uh, one cup and I'm good to go. But I think two would have been better. But yeah, they love these cups. They're hard around the top, so you can hold them. Yeah. But they clap, so. This place was a uh, pretty damn pleasant. Yeah. With the exception of the road. But yeah. after about 9 o'clock, all that traffic goes away. So we did uh, did some stargazing. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Seen some stuff. We were not really sure what it was. Yeah. But I hadn't seen any bear. Seen two deer. Um, seen one squirrel. And we've heard we, some. We heard some woodpeckers yep. back and forth this morning. We might get to see one of them. Maybe. But yeah, so we're primitive camping. There's no power. Um, so we've had to rig up. No power, no water. Yeah, we've had to... Uh, what did we have to do? I, I, I don't know. I lost my mind. <laughs> I'm still tired. But um, it's perfect. It is. It's really nice. Well... Just woke up, Lori. Barbie. Just woke up. Just woke up. Just woke up, Barbie. This is a uh, old. Uh, this is middle aged. Middle aged. Just woke up, Barbie. But anyway, so we forgot a bunch of stuff. Included in said stuff was uh, my eyeliner and mascara. So I didn't forget that. Well, I did, I but. And I can't use my straightener, so you've got calic bang glory. You just, you know, you have to take it as it is. Where we're going today, you don't need makeup. Oh, God, where are we going? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. I've never seen one. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a lot of places. <laughs> I've never seen this. But anyway, this is what y'all stuck with. Thing. This is what y'all stuck with this weekend right here. And we were going to do breakfast, but Tommy and I really are not breakfast people. And I think we're fooling ourselves and everybody else <laughs> for, with these ideas of these grand breakfasts we're going to create. We bought all the stuff for uh, Eggs Benedict, and we were going to do it, but... Oh, we stayed up again. Yeah, we late. stayed up way too late. So Again, we ate late. so we ate late. We got up early. Got up early, and we don't feel like eating breakfast. <laughs> yep, which is actually usually our life anyway. So <laughs> you know, it is yeah, kind I, of what it is. But we don't really have that three meals a day. No, we don't. So anyway, no breakfast. Sorry, 
What you doing? I'm cooking dinner. What the hell does it look like? Washing dishes. Washing some dishes. They ever tell you how much I love you? Yeah. Hot. This is my high dollar alkaline water. <sighs> You're the best. Did you ever know that you're my hero? So he's using our portable shower to rinse the dishes. We hung it up last night. This area gets full sun during the day. Yeah. Well, it's not meant to be a full blown shower. It's just meant to be if you're on the trail somewhere or primitive camping, like we are, and you need to rinse off or whatever, you can do it. On the trail somewhere. Who the hell is going to carry five gallons of water with him? You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I would. Y'all, it might be happening. What? Finally. What? Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> it, it might be happening this time. I don't know. If, 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 if it does, it's going to be a Christmas miracle. A Christmas miracle. In July. In July. <laughs> Stop by the, uh, well, we made three stops, actually. Stop by the DG, Dollar General, first. Going to give that a big thumbs down. I could not believe that there was actually a Dollar General out there worse than the one that's right there by my house, but it was, <laughs> it, was uh, it was worse. It really was. And Lisa ours are nice. Yeah. Let me tell you they ain't got it. <laughs> she was rude as hell. She was. She was pretty rude. But anyway, so then we went to the, went to Angles and uh, got most of what we needed. And then I needed some um, new pajama bottoms because the ones that I have are like 15 years old. And, a couple years old. Yeah. They had a family dollar next door to the angles and i'm like i'm just gonna go in there because i'm not going to walmart today i've been to walmart entirely too many times this year as it is and usually walmart is reserved for christmas or buying stuff from a pool so anyhow um went to to the family dollar and she was so dang nice i mean she really was and i got my pajama shorts and i found a shirt that i liked and she had my little flagpole thing that we've been looking everywhere for. But and everybody, helped you find it. And helped me find it. Helped me find it. Mm -hmm. So, shout out to the Blairsville Family Dollar Lady. You're awesome. Thank <laughs> you. I appreciate it. Really, I appreciate you. Look. Oh, what? 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 Holy, holy cow. Hang on. They're open. <laughs> Wait, don't get happy yet. The sign says open. They're open. But last time the lights was on, they still wasn't open. <laughs> How excited are you right now? I'm not gonna buy a damn thing. <laughs> I ain't buying nothing. Are you anymore. staging a protest? I'm gonna walk around and leave. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go in and check them out.
said. Tommy! So we are doing Cornish hens tonight on a spit. I'm gonna roast them over hot coals. And the first thing I'm gonna do is drain these. And pat them dry. All right, so she's got three 20 ounce Cornish hens open. All right, so I'm just gonna take a clean rag, or was clean till this night flew in there. Yeah, it'll burn off. Anyway, I'm gonna take them, just pat them. Rub that chicken. I oh, am. Yeah. I'm gonna rub yeah, it. That's right. Rub it. <laughs> just don't choke it. <laughs> I leave the choking the chickens to you. <laughs> So you do all three of them. Or 10 or, or ten or however. I don't know why Tommy felt the need to bring uh, three, but. I did. He did, so. Make sure you get the underlings too, you know. Between the legs, the wings, little butt. Normally if I'm home, I would do a uh, inject injection on here. But amongst the other stuff we forgot, we forgot the injector as well. So, I'm going to give these girls a little... You uh, give them shit to you open up it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I'm not, I haven't even had one whole beer yet. Alright. So, <laughs> give them a little glug of olive oil. That one got a little more. That one, shit, that one got a little less. Lost her cap. Lost her cap. Chicken's, her pet's heads are falling off. Chicken's heads are falling off. All right, so once you got that on there, you want to give them a little rub-a-dub, all right? Get them all slathered up again, just this time not in chicken goo, all right? Get your hand in there, rub them, just like a little baby. Scrub a dub dub. Scrub a dub dub. I mean, at least it'll get the germs off. Well, you get ready to rub them again anyway. I know, but just that. I wanted to get them off before I touched any of this stuff. So, got some Lowry's gar garlic salt. I'm gonna give everybody a good dousing. And don't be afraid of the salt with these because what the salt's going to do is help crisp that skin up. Some smoked paprika. A little bit of black pepper. And I did not get this recipe from anywhere. This is mine. I come up with it. I mean, I'm not saying I invented it, but <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> this is what we put on it. This one day I was like, I want to make some Cornish hens. And I didn't know how to do it. And so I just figured it out. One of my favorite ingredients is tart cherry juice. This is a different brand, so I don't know how this is going to go, but give them a good, whoop. sorry, Alan, I'll clean your table. And then give them a good rub. All right, so they're all belly side down. And we'll let them soak in a little bit of their juice for just a few minutes. And then we will skewer them and get them going. All right, so I'm going to let Tommy do the skewering. So we let these sit for about 20, 25, 25 minutes. minutes, something like that. Now at home, 
we actually have a, a full roasting spit. We brought everything with us, but we didn't know that he had this standing grill. Do these, they go in the ground in it. They, they should have seen this during our um, quarantine time. Well, we didn't have, we had like two followers back then. But anyway. <laughs> oh, we, got, we got a few more now. Not many. Um, my uncle and my cousins made me this roasting spit, and we absolutely love it. We love it. But we're not going to put the whole thing together. We're just going to use the skewer and use uh, the grill that's already here. You just find its happy place. Yeah. <laughs> Go through. You ever had your head in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> you ever had somebody else's head in your ass? Oh, uh, no. Why you buy? <laughs> so what I do is I got one on. I don't, you can't tell I got it on the sides, and this is just gonna go on the top. So just like that. There you go. And then we will turn All that. I do is turn it periodically. We'll get it rotisseried. Yep. So they're gonna be delicious. We'll be back. All right, so Tommy makes this stuff called <laughs> bacon wrapped asparagus, and it is really, 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 really good. I love pretty much all vegetables, but asparagus is not one of my favorites. And the way he makes this, it, it is spectacular. So <clears throat> what he's doing is cutting some puff pastry into strips. Yeah. So you cut the puff pastry into strips, asparagus. We're not gonna eat all this, we'll take it home and eat it. Yeah. One day this week. So you take, since these are a little small, I'm just gonna take two and put them together. How's that? I don't care. I just spiral wrap. Of pastry all the way to the end. All right, yay. Ha! Then you take bacon. <laughs> and in between that spiral wrap. He was not happy about this the yeah, quality this, of this bacon. This bacon was crap. A pastry and bacon. So when he gets done with that, we'll be back and we'll show you the rest of the process. Okay. So we let the chickens get down, get up to uh, about 20 degrees of being finished and then we wrap them in aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. So. That way we don't dry them out. Right. They, Make them horrible. It looks like a. It looks like a big ass kebab. It does. <laughs> it really does. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit of an experiment. <laughs> this is the Pampered Chef convertible portable grill. So it goes from electric to charcoal. Tonight we're gonna use it on the electric, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do that to bake the bacon wrapped asparagus. So we're gonna, we covered the pan to make it more like a baking sheet. Right. And it's got temperature settings. So now I'm just gonna drizzle my olive oil. Then put my garlic, salt. Not real heavy on this, though. No, this bacon's already salty. Give it a little, little love. That's probably good. And then if I do them at home, sorry about the lighting. So if I do them at home, I'll put them on a baking sheet. Uh, it's like 325, 350. Mm -hmm. And for like, 25 minutes, I think it is. 25, 30 minutes. 
And what you're all you're doing is the puff pastry will rise. And the bacon's gonna crisp. And they're, they're so good. They are so good. So hopefully this uh this works the same way. Yeah, yeah, because on uh could be what exactly what we need when we're camping. Because you can do charcoal as a charcoal tray in the bottom or the electric side of it. Right. Ooh, it is hot. You might not can see it, but I tell you what, if you touch that son of a bitch, it is hot. <laughs> if I just did it twice. Alright, so they're on there. We're gonna close it up. It's on a, would you say medium? Um I had it on high, I'm gonna put it on medium. We're gonna close it up and I guess we'll check check it in about 10, 15 minutes yeah. to see how it looks. Yeah. Alright, we'll be back. You ready? Yep. So we've been about, we're going to say 10 minutes. Might have been longer than that, but I'm playing with the heat and everything. Oh, snap. So that puff pastry is going to start. Puffing up. Puffing up. Nice, dude. Yeah. So we, uh, think this pampered chef grill uh so far this grill is uh it's on point come on now hey. your time skills are not right <laughs> yeah i mean oh my god they smell so good so you tell me that don't look good yeah that yeah. fucking look that looks amazing come on man come on man <laughs> So, uh, that steak last night was pretty damn good. This Cornish hen, oh my God, man, I'm telling you what. It's so freaking good. So, real quick, and I'm just going to be brief about this. This is down the road, or down the lane from where we, where we uh, stayed. But the significance of this place, as I was told was that uh, at the end of the Civil War when the soldiers were coming home, uh, they marched through this area and they carved their name into the fireplace. So I'm gonna go up there right quick and just see if I can, if you can still see it. I've seen it once before, but it was, uh, it was pretty neat. Somebody don't shoot me. Looks like they've done some work. I don't know if you can still see it or not. Yeah. Right there. These were people coming home. So that's kind of neat. A little bit of history. Just thought I'd share that with y'all. Well, well, all right. right. <laughs> so there's our little flag we got for our tent camping. And got that at Pap Pappy's River Walk yep. and tubing. And then we got the little stand at the Family, family Dollar. <laughs> Shout out again to that lady. She helped me find it. And uh, the place we stayed was our friend's cabin. And it was absolutely beautiful. It's, yeah. so, it's so beautiful there. Yeah, we had, we had a great time and we like to... Uh, Thank them. Um, thank them a lot, uh, Alan and Shannon, both for uh, letting us go up there and use their land. Yeah. So it was awesome. Yep. So finally, Tommy got to realize his dream and go into the <laughs> Logan Turnpike <laughs> Mill. Uh, this this place was so cool. She had literally had about every type of jam and jelly, including wine and moonshine infused. Yeah, it was an old bank. That's yeah. what it used to be. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's an old building. And then... Um, the pictures I, really didn't even do it justice. I got my grits, so. He got his grits, but her yet. husband makes those uh, really cute dishcloths that hang on there. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. See, I heard her say somebody made them. Mm -hmm. Her husband makes them. So then we did the steaks, and they were freaking phenomenal. Wood-fired grill you can't beat. It, them were probably the best steaks I've cooked in five years. Years, since the last time you cooked them on wood. <laughs> That's been 10 years. Then. Yeah, since the last time you cooked them on wood. But then, you know, the next night we did uh, 
the Cornish hens and yep. mm -hmm. bacon wrapped asparagus and wild rice. We loved that Pamper Chef grill. Yeah. It did such a fantastic job cooking that. It made it like an oven for us for that. And the next time we're going to actually grill something on it. So uh, I'm looking forward to that because it, it really mm. did its job. I mean, the temperature come up on that thing super, super quick. So, But, you know, I also think, and this is just my mind working, you know, how it does. I think that you could also convert that into a smoker. You could. You, because you it's got could. a tray on it, and yeah. I don't see why you couldn't put pellets or something yeah, you could, you in could that tray. Yeah, you could do exactly the same thing we did and put the coals at the bottom with the, the smoker with the mm -hmm. aluminum foil and, or with the wood, and it would smoke up through. So right. you definitely could convert it. So I think that was completely worth... Free? Well, it was free for me because I hosted the party <laughs> But and got the room. No, it wasn't free. I paid sixty bucks for it. I got it uh, half off. Yeah. So still, still yet. I mean, for it's camp, like one hundred and twenty-five bucks for a camping grill. I highly, highly recommend mm -hmm. that, especially if you're doing something a little different than what you normally do. You don't cook over an open fire a lot, but you really got to tend to fire. You really got to watch what you're doing. But if you're going out camping, that grill would be perfect. But stay tuned next week because. We wait, actually there's more. there. Wait, there's more. We had to break this video up because we literally did more than what we could show you in one sitting. Right, we can't I mean, put all this fun in thirty minutes. <laughs> well, I, I wanted it to go lower in thirty minutes, but we could, I couldn't even <laughs> cut that much out of it. But anyway, um, so stay tuned next week because we got our what we did outside of the camping right on there. But don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to, so you know when we upload new videos. Till next, next time. Bye-bye. Stay, Stay spicy. spicy.